What's up guys? Welcome to this next circuit. We have two exercises that we're going to repeat four times total. Exercise one is going to be a side plank with hip flexion and extension. So hip flexion is exactly what this right leg is doing, meaning it is flexed up. My left leg is almost in a neutral, but now it's in an extended position behind me. So I think extension is hip behind me, flexion would be my hip in front of me, my knee in front of me. Uh, so that's what we'll be doing in the side plank position, not only working core, but also hip mobility and stability. That's going to be six each side, uh, six between flexion and six in extension. Then we have backpack, supine, windshield, wiper. I have my trusty old backpack here going back to my high school days. Uh, we're going to use this as not only resistance, but activation and assistance in the movement as we're doing windshield wipers, rotationally working our core. We're going to be lying on our back for that one for six each side. I'll show exactly how both of these movements look. Exercise one, side plank. So we're going to put our elbow on the ground. First we're going to be sideline, elbow on the ground. Before I even go, I want to press the ground away with my elbow. And then we're going to do side plank, our usual three variations. So variation one is bottom knee, Bent, top knee out straight, top leg out straight, press the ground away, I'm going to lift up my hips. This would be variation one. Now, with hip flexion and extension, I can pick up my leg, I'm going to kick it forward. My goal is to have my toes facing forward the whole time. I'll show from the side, and then I'm going to go into extension, back behind me. So that would be one rep. Version two would be feet staggered. I can do the same thing, lift up back, or I can go feet stack. In this case, since I am lifting the top leg, feet stack and feet staggered are pretty dang similar. So again, I'll show from the side. Side plank position. Press the ground away with my elbow. I'm gonna show feet stack variation. Hips come up, top leg comes up, toes are facing forward. Kick forward, you don't have to go too far because your goal is to keep stability in the plank position as you're going and then go to extension. You don't want to go too far back to where you fall or you're arching or anything. Just a slight flexion forward, slight extension backward, then return to center. Again, we have six each side on that one. So really the goal is to stay in that good side plank position, just little movement activating our hip flexor and glute as we stabilize in that movement. So next one, we're going to grab our backpack and go supine windshield wipers. So, I grab my backpack or whatever object you're using. You can use a dumbbell, a kettlebell, something that you can put two arms on and grab. So I'm going to get in a supine position, lying back, press the bag up. And before I even go, I want to try to like I'm ripping the bag apart either way with my arms. I want my arms to go that way. Obviously, don't get something that you actually rip apart. So I'm going to rip it. I'm keeping that constant tension. Now my legs and knees come off the ground. Press the ground down to the low back so we're activating our core, no space between the low back and the ground. And I'm going to bring both sides, or both legs, excuse me, to one side. And then I return back. You can see how the bag is starting to shift to the left. My goal is to keep it right in the center, but I don't want to go too far to where I fall either. So rip the bag apart, one chill wiper to one side, bring it back. I really have to activate my core here. Nice, slow, control. Six each leg. We're rotationally working our core there. And we have this circuit four times, y'all. Let's go. 